put it really simple, it's a war between three races, uh, the Elios, Asmodians, and Balnar. The first two are PC races, and the third are an NPC race. First, there was a really omnipotent god named Ion who created uh, his uh, race of servitors, uh, which were the Balar, but they were very powerful, but they kind of had have independent will, and, and in the end, they didn't really uh, obey Ion's wishes, so, and they kind of rebelled to Ion, and so Ion made a new race, which were the Devas, and this time, though they were less powerful individually than the Balar, he, the Ion gave them a sense of uh, loyalty and worship towards himself, so so that they would obey him in all matters. So, so kind of, they had the concept of a religion uh, centered on Ion, the most, you know, the central god of that world. So, so in the past, the devas fought with the Balar, and they expelled them from the uh, uh, main part of the world into the kind of uh, other dimensional planes. So the Balars were kind of exiled from the world. And for a time, it was very peaceful uh, for the devas. But uh, then the devas kind of split it to two factions. The reason that they split oh, split into two factions was their attitude toward the Balar. One wanted to kind of stop the war, eternal war, and kind of try to make peace. But uh, one side wanted to, you know, fight till the end. So that's kind of why they split apart. There was an event called, it was kind of like a peace offering of the Balar, and they wanted to have a peace treaty, but there was, I won't go into too many details, but there was a betrayal and and the Balar attacked the Tower of Eternity and it split in two. So it was kind of a big catastrophe, big uh, destruction of the world and the tower split into two pieces. So now the world of Ion is kind of divided in two halves and the tower itself is in split in half and one half is on the top side and one half is on the lower side. And so the Elios live on the lower side which uh, and the Asmodians live on the upper side and now because of that split of factions they have become bitter enemies they blame each other for the uh, splitting of the world and they believe that in order to survive they must eliminate their uh, opposing faction and so so now it's kind of a three-sided war between those three races and of course the main point of conflict is uh, who will control, get to control the Tower of Ion, uh, Tower of Eternity. And the communication between the all-powerful Ion and the Devas have kind of been cut off, and no one's really, really sure what happened to Ion. And all they know is that to ensure their, their survival, they have to protect their part of the tower and prevent it f from being destroyed by their enemy factions. So that's kind of the overall setting. It's uh, sometimes we call it uh, kind of like a uh, story of three kingdoms, you know, the Asian Chinese epic. So it's kind of like a it's an all-out war, but also it's kind of like diplomacy and backstabbing and intrigue stuff happening between these three races. And they're always kind of looking behind their back.
what st the story for an uh, individual player is that they will be uh, one of the uh, leading uh, characters of each faction. They will start out as lowly uh, soldiers, but they will become more and more powerful and they will uh, realize their potential to become really godlike beings and eventually they will become the generals of the army that fights in this three-sided war. So I think, to put it simply, it's about raise, uh, rising in ranks within the in your nation's army to become a very distinguished military, you know, hero within that world. Uh, I think that would be the main storyline of Ion.